Good Friday evening, TGIF. This is CBS 5 Meteorologist Mike Brookins. You can follow me on Twitter at Mike Brookins or on Facebook. Keep up to date that the meteorologist Mike Brookins. Hey, looking at our weekend's weather, I think it's primarily dry. We need the moisture, I know, for the drought conditions, the low water levels and many wells and municipal supplies. We're going to have the threat and the chance for some accumulating rainfall through the evening and overnight tonight. Then most of the weekend should be dry for your weekend activities that are going to be outdoors. Temperatures as of press time up to almost 90 in Syracuse. We may in fact reach that level. We'll see. 89 though. 93 in Fulton. A little suspect as far as their heat as of late. 91 in Rochester once again. Man oh man do they just keep getting those 90s uh, they've got more than double the number of 90 degree days out to the west in Rochester than here in Syracuse. So temperatures today, 5 to 10 degrees above average. In fact, last night, 71. Boy, that was sticky. And I think tonight, again, near 10 degrees above average. Now, today's record high of 96. That's definitely safe. For tonight, we've got a cold front pushing in very late at night. In advance of the front, we've got the humidity, the warmth, and that should lead to at least a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. A good chunk of the night will be dry, but I think most everyone should get something. You know, is it going to be three, four inches of rain, which a lot of these areas could use? No. It's likely going to be less than an inch as they'll move along and uh, be pretty widely scattered for much of the time. Otherwise, some patchy fog is possible late at night. Tomorrow, eventually some slightly cooler and lower humidity weather starts to move in. An isolated shower or two in the morning, but mostly dry. It'll be breezy at times as well. It's still a nice breeze on Sunday, less humid. Could be a passing sprinkle as we go through the morning up to the north and northeast of Onondaga County. So there's the future cast for tonight. This is our chance for a scattered shower or thunderstorm because tomorrow it's just isolated activity in the morning and possibly midday. But most of the afternoon looking brighter with increasing amounts of sunshine. Later Saturday night, the clouds start to thicken up, bringing us the threat for a sprinkle or a passing isolated light shower. So for tonight, scattered thunderstorms, some patchy fog, warm and humid. 71 degrees are low temperature. Not a huge rise in temperatures, only a dozen degrees, up to 83 tomorrow with isolated showers in the morning and then increasing sun in the afternoon. Notice that fresh breeze picking up in the afternoon out of the northwest, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then for Sunday on the seven-day forecast, perhaps an isolated morning shower, best chance to the north and northeast, 80 degrees. Pick day is Monday. That's the sunny one, 82 with low humidity. Humidity comes back up Tuesday, 87, more dry weather. A few showers or thunderstorms possible on Wednesday, nearly 90 once again. And then, again, mainly dry conditions for Thursday and Friday.